Hello and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that has strongly Virgo in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for September 2021. Please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is down there below in the description box. Happy birthday, Virgo. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. <laughs> Let's see, Virgo. <sighs> okay, Virgo. Wow. The High Priestess. Now, that is also Virgo energy. Yes, it is. So, secrets are being revealed, Virgo. Things that were in the dark are coming to light, Virgo. Here go Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. September 2021. Here go the end of illusions. Here go two more shuffles for Virgo, please. Here go. Are we ready for your go? Yes, we are. Here we go. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? You have been through battles. You are wounded. You lick your wounds and you keep moving. You keep you keep going. You are strong, Virgo. Very strong. First card for you is the Nine of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Something is turning towards your favor. You're not seeing this coming though. The Ace of Wands, a new beginning. The Queen of Swords, this is also Virgo energy, even though the Queen, oh, sorry, the Queen of Cups. I thought it was the Queen of Swords. This is a new deck, so I rushed. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Why do I feel that the camera is a bit slanted? Or maybe not. Just me being a Virgo. Okay. <laughs> I was doing the Leo, the, Leo, the, Leo, the, Leo, the Leo reading and the camera just went weird. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Hmm. The Eight of Wands. Communication. Fast movement. The arrows of love, Virgo. You're not seeing this coming. You did make some kind of decision, a decision that you knew 100% will benefit you. 
I would say that this is a unexpected turn of events. There you go. Yeah, this is what I'm getting, really. The Ten of Pentacles. Good news are coming in in your household. Good news. Good karma. Four of Swords. It's like you are sleeping and... We say here in Greece... Uh... Okay, this is what we say. Meaning that you're sleeping and your luck... Is, 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 you know, is, 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 is coming towards you. Luck is coming towards you, but you're sleeping. You, you, you're not aware of it. You, you cannot see it, but yeah. Wow. And the eight of cups. So. It could be that you did walk away from a water sign. Or you walked away from a love interest. Heading towards new love, Virgo. This is what I'm getting here with the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Now, the Four of Swords is, if you break it down, it's the Three of Swords, which is um, pain with the Ace of Swords, which is clarity. So, through this healing period, Virgo, I'm getting that you were healing your heart. You got the necessary clarity you needed to surrender. To let go. And by choosing to do that, you are going to receive good karma, Virgo. Mm hmm Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's go find the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Virgo, please? The Nine of Cups. For Virgo. We have the Four of Pentacles. Maybe your ego was holding on to a wish. This is what I'm getting with the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. This is, let's say, for example, holding on to a specific person because there's chemistry or because uh, you get a feeling, right? right? You, you got a feeling that this could uh, uh, potentially be a, a life partner or a good partner or I don't know what, and you were, your ego was holding on, right, to this person. To this wish for things to move in your liking. I hope I'm using the right words here. This is what I'm getting, okay? So let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune for Virgo, please. The Three of Swords. Okay. 
So Virgo it was not working out. Mm. Yes, it was not working out. It did not work out. There was a disappointment here. Your ego got hurt, Virgo. <laughs> Don't get mad with me. I'm a Virgo. So, your ego got hurt. Let's be honest here now. So, what did you do? Or what are you going to do, Virgo? Nothing else than to surrender, to let go of whatever you are we were holding so tightly here. We like to have control. We don't like it when we are not in control. But not everything can be controlled, like what other people feel, think, do. Now it's up, it's, it's like surrendering whatever this is to the hands of God, the divine, the universe. You can call it whatever you want. I've said this before, for me, it's the same thing. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning. After the pain, after the struggle, the frustration, <laughs> the high priestess. <laughs> what happened here? The, the high priestess just fell on the four of swords. This for me is also meditation, getting downloads while you're meditating, while you are sleeping, right? The dreams, the aha moments, the downloads. So you did receive a lot of downloads, didn't you, Virgo? Tapped in your intuition, in your higher self. So you were definitely guided 100% here. Yes. Hearing that inner voice, let go, Virgo, let go, surrender, Virgo. You cannot control, Virgo. And then your ego was like, oh, but I want it. I want it. I want him. I want her. You know, and, the, and I was like, no, 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 no. This is maybe what you want. But is it what you need, Virgo? Is it? Let's see. The Ace of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Three of Pentacles. So, someone here is watching you from afar, Virgo. This person is not communicating with you, is not taking any kind of action towards your way, but they are watching you. No. <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing. I'm very sorry. It's not funny. <laughs> but it is. Excuse me. <coughs> I just received a comment, I think today, it was today or yesterday. I did say in a reading, I don't remember in which reading, they're watching you. And this person commented, they're watching me, are they a bad person? Should I call the police? Come on. <laughs> okay, sorry, it's not funny. So, when I say someone's watching you, I'm not like... Anyway, they're not watching you with binoculars outside your home, stalking you. I'm not saying that they're, they are feeling your energy, feeling your vibe. Yeah, maybe they're also watching you. Maybe, but not in that way. <laughs> maybe passing by your home, see if your car is down. Uh, you know, if they see your car or if they see you passing by, you know, things like that. Passing by your um, office, your, your, your work, your school, I don't know. Okay. But when I say they're watching you, it's more like, a, a, like observing you. Mm -hmm. Watching you, observing you. And this person has been observing you for quite some time. 
let's see there you go admiring you the king of cups clarifying the queen of cups and the ten of cups is on the bottom of the deck this could be someone new this is maybe someone that you you, you can't even imagine that this person let's say likes you or uh, is interested in you but we do have a match here with the king and the queen of cups this is a match this is a match okay this is a new connection a new relationship with the ace of wands yes this is something new okay now it could be that it could be that there is someone from the past returning but it would be it would be it would be new like totally fresh new energy here yeah i want to clarify the king of cups and the queen of cups of course well and this is very promising I'm also getting like, um, because this is, this is not one-sided. It's not one-sided. This is like mutual. You have mutual feelings. Uh, yeah, this is not one-sided, not at all. So let's clarify the king and the queen of calves for Virgo. King and Queen of Cups for Virgo, please. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah. Someone here wants to come to your way. Come to your way. It's obvious. They're trying to find preparing. I'm seeing someone here preparing. I'm Yes, I am seeing here someone preparing. an offer that you will not be able to resist here, Virgo. And I repeat, this could be someone totally new. This could be someone that you know that this person is in your environment, but you were not aware that they were interested in you that way. And this could also be someone from the past. It could be this person that has hurt you, that has disappointed you trying to figure out a way to come towards you with an offer that you will not be able to reject, that you will not reject. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to clarify the Eight of Pentacles here. I'm getting anxiety. I don't know why I'm like, <gasps> I cannot breathe. Who is this? <laughs> what does he want? <laughs> ah. The Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, I don't know. We'll see. So, clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. What is this King of Cups preparing here for this Queen? What is this Eight of Pentacles here? What is this offer? Oh, I don't know, Virgo. I don't know. Remember that on the bottom of the deck? Yes, was it under the... Yes, I don't know. You are very suspicious. <laughs> for you, it's... I, I feel that for you, especially if this person is someone from the past, the person that hurt you, I don't know. You're like, I don't know. Nah. How can I show this to you now? You don't need to know Tarot. Just feel the vibe. I want to come closer, though. I'm going to... Okay, so this, this is the Queen of Cups. This person, this King of Cups is coming in with working on an offer, coming towards your way and you're like, I don't know, I need to do this. You're like, ah, uh, you see? <laughs> you're like, King of Cups, what do you want? I don't trust you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Very <Virgo. laughs> Um Let's see. You don't trust this person at all. 
even if it is someone new, you're very like cautious and you know, good for you. I mean, if you have been hurt in the past, you know, um, you're just protecting yourself. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing, actually. Let's see. One more card on the King of Cups here. And this offer from the King of Cups. Ooh. Ooh, there it goes. Mm -hmm. When this person knows that you are an Empress, they know. That's why they're working very hard putting a lot of, like, energy, mm -hmm. trying to find a way to bring you in to, I'm hearing seduce you also. Oh, this is a very smart king, very smart. And he's very good at crafts, like he's very good with his hands. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, okay, here we go. <laughs> I, I hope you're laughing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Who? Um, um, let's get serious. So. I don't know. You are an empress. I don't know if you're going to... Just, 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 let's clarify the Empress and then move on. So this King of Cups has his eyes on you. For now, he has only his eyes on you. But I'm getting that he also wants to put his hands on you too. Mm. Virgo, clarifying the Empress, Virgo energy, please. Ah, oh, I don't know, Virgo. You're not gonna. You're not gonna accept anything less than um, a serious offer. Uh, yes, but this person, as I said, this person is very, very smart. Now it could be that for you is um, if this is a person from the past, for you it's a done deal because you have the five of cups energy, you're like, um, eh, for me, eh, this is over, I'm done with it. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, put any effort in this. And, but this is the thing, that this person here, this king of cups, is preparing a pentacle for you. Like, it's very hard to resist this. Now, again, if, if, even if this person is a new person, not someone from your past. You're not that easy, Virgo. This is what I want to say. You have learned your lesson. Yes. Your heart has been broken. You're not just going to give in that easy. So, yeah. Yeah. Simple as that. Now, let's clarify the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands for Virgo. Okay, you saw that. The Death card. Scorpio energy. Okay. Um, this is also what I'm really picking up for you is over. This is done. If this is, this is, if you were dealing with the King of Cups, it's over. The Three of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Death card, the Eight of Cups. This is telling me that for you, this is over. It's done. You're transforming. You're changing. You're moving forward. You're hoping and wishing for something new to enter into your life. And maybe this is the something new that is coming into your life. But as I said earlier, right? You are not, how can I say that? 
you are no longer so like you're not you're not the same person Virgo after going all this through this all this you're not the same you you have boundaries you know your worth you are not going to accept anything less than what you deserve and you're not going to give people the benefit of the doubt. You're not going to do that anymore. So this is also, I'm, I'm getting a very like firm, I don't know if that's the right word, like a queen of swords energy. That's what I'm getting, a queen of swords energy. So I've said this before. I've said this before about Virgos. So let's clarify the eight of what? Uh, of wands okay you that is you the queen of pentacles is she beautiful standing there proud knowing her worth mm. abundant Serious. She's very serious. She doesn't accept games or mind games or knights coming towards her way, playing with her. She does not know. No. She has learned her lesson. You have learned your lesson. And as I said earlier, I am getting good news, uh, Virgo. I am getting good news coming in your household. I did say that earlier. Oh my goodness, and there is someone here that is playing games with you or was ga playing games with you from in the, excuse me, in the past. This is what you are not, not, you're not going to accept. You're not accepting this. You're cutting this off, okay? This is a Seven of Swords energy. Ugh. Maybe you did communicate with someone. Or maybe you did try to, uh, maybe you gave someone a second chance, but they blew it up. Or and you're like, Pfft. could be, yes, could be, could be. Because I am seeing someone here like waiting for you to respond. Or um, yeah, the way that you, 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 you responded in the past, or but you're not the same. You see, that's the, no, 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 no. You're not the same person. You're not, so. Whoever is this, whoever is in the Seven of Swords energy, playing mind games with you, uh, trying to to manipulate you, you no, 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 it's not going to work because of the transformation of your transformation here, Virgo. Yes, yes, we have the lovers, the lovers and the Two of Cups. Seriously, oh, and the King of Wands, ooh, and the Devil on the bottom of the deck. Who is this man? Who is this King of Wands? I like this King of Wands. Well, this King of Wands is coming in with a lot of passion. A lot. This is new energy, fresh energy, new energy. This is not someone from the past, Virgo. No, 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 no. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting that this is someone from the past because this is someone that takes action. This is someone that initiates Yes. Ooh, this person is very attracted to you. This person is going to be all over you. Give me one sign, the Ace of Swords, transparent. Ooh, I love this guy. Truthful, honest, transparent. Not like the other person here 
with the seven of swords playing games with you. But you don't trust this person anyway. If it was this person to return to you with an offer, you would be like, yeah, 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 I know, I know, whatever. So I'm not... You are here, Virgo, with this king of wands. Ooh. King of wands. Lovers, the two of cups, the king of wands, the ace of swords. Who are you, man? Who are you? Ooh. Ah, ee, and the ace of cups. <laughs> oh, my goodness, yes. And we have also judgment on the bottom of the deck. Oh, 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 really? And the Knight of Cups? Oh, nice. Very nice, the Emperor here. <sighs> this is what we want. I don't know about you. I want this King of Wands here. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, yes. Look at him. The lovers. The two of cups. You see, it's, it's, it's both sides. Look how this beautiful, isn't that beautiful? Yes. Why should you get involved in situations that is one-sided? No. Look, mm, the king of wands, hmm. Ah, coming in with the ace of cups and the ace of swords with shoot. With honesty, transparency, I repeat. Mm-hmm. It could be Virgo that you are going to get um, into a situation that you would have to choose between two people here, someone from the past and someone new. But I am getting more that you are interested in a new energy and not this past person that uh, didn't um, take in consideration your feelings. There we go. Let's see. What is the message regarding uh, love? So, what is the message regarding love for Virgo in September 2021? For Virgo, thank you. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovely, lovely, lovingly from others is a way of showing love. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It could be that in the past, this King of Cups rejected you. Could be. Could be. And as I said, I did feel that um, a couple of Virgos out there tried maybe to give this another try, another go, and it was not, your effort was not received um, in a positive um, note, in a positive way. So you decided to end this. This is what I'm getting here. But you are going to encounter a king of wands here that is going to be very receptive to you, Virgo. Now let's see what is your spiritual message for September. So your spirit, spiritual message Slash advice from spirit for Virgo. For Virgo, please. September 2021 for Virgo, please. Thank you. One, two, three. Freedom. Where you are freeing yourself. I really hope I'm focused. Uh, yes, I am. Am I? Yes. So, freedom. Detachment. And faith. Lovely. Don't you think? So, I no longer want this fairy ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside with or without, without the fulfillment of a particular desire. 
Ironically, that's often when it's fulfilled. Okay, yes. Miraculously, amazingly, everything I need always comes. Love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagine. Virgo, I love this for us. Now let's see what is our general message for September. General message for September 2021. Virgo, sun, moon, rising. Okay. Got excited over there. Let's do this again. General message for Virgo, September 2021. <laughs> this is our message. Oh yes, intuitive. We have loon, loon, intuitive. So listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved and free. I'm adding this. Freedom from any kind of attachment from the past. Have faith that, yes, and trust that everything, everything unfolds the way it should. And whatever is meant for you will come to you, Virgo. If this reading did not resonate, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter. Bye, Virgo. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.